I remade every single BFDI character into their exact opposite. Starting off with Fiery. And because in media, the opposite of Fiery is most commonly depicted as Water, I redesigned Fiery into Watery. And because Fiery is a cool but fairly dumb contestant, the opposite of that would make Watery into a mean and strategic contestant. He wouldn't have a fear of heights, unlike Fiery, and he would also be one of the heaviest contestants due to how dense Water is. So he would also be pretty slow, unlike Fiery, who's the lightest BFDI contestant and also one of the fastest. But that's just one of the 21 designs we're gonna be making today, so stick around until the end because I think you're gonna like a lot of my design. And remember to like and subscribe for a part 2 featuring the contestants from other seasons. Moving on to Woody, who's a fragile piece of balsa wood just like his personality, because Woody is scared of everything. So to oppose that, I made Woody into a metal plate, aka Steely. Steely is very assertive, bold, brave, fearless, and confident. Probably too confident. Which is why he would slowly develop into becoming a more cautious and scared character to oppose Woody slowly becoming more confident. Teardrop is up next, and because I wanna keep every character's general shape intact, I turn Teardrop into Lava Drop. Since Teardrop is a very strategic, competitive, and mischievous character who obviously doesn't talk, my reversal for her would make her extremely talkative, but also very stupid. Teardrop also has laser powers for some reason, so to oppose that, Lava Drop would have healing powers instead. Sponge is next, who's a very big, yellow, squishy contestant. So I first of all made him smaller, changed his color to bronze, and made him sturdier to turn him into Bricky. Sponge is often portrayed as kind and caring, but also sensitive. So Bricky would be a fairly mean contestant that likes to keep to himself, but generally gets along with most people. Spongy also smells bad, so Bricky would probably smell like roses. Now for Much, this one was kinda difficult, but I eventually went with a candle because you used matches to light candles. Much is usually a fairly mean character because she acts like a stereotypical teenage girl, so Candle is gonna be a lot nicer and act like a grown adult. Pencil is up next. And, okay, creating opposites for some of these got like really complicated. So what I decided to do is swap every school-based BFDI character with every sport-based BFDI character. So because pencils are a school supply, I turned her into a sports item, which is why I went with a baseball bat. She plays the game by herself to oppose Pencil being part of the biggest alliance, and she is generally nice to everyone. But I'm not just making a reverse cast, I'm making a reverse season. So what would the reversal of Battle for Dream Island be? Well, in BFDI 22, Flower says this. You're gonna get the opposite of Jake Violet. Nightmare Moon! So the show's name will be Battle for Nightmare Moon, or BFNM for short. By the way, if you wanna use any of these characters, they're all available for free in the first link in the description. I'm not actually planning on making Battle for Nightmare Moon an actual show, but if you wanna do it yourself, then go for it. Just make sure to credit me if you use them. Eraser's up next. And first of all, Eraser, what's up with your posture, bro? Um, anyways, Eraser is another school object, so he's gonna be turned into a sports object. And so I decided to turn him into a playing card. Card games are technically sports, so that works. Card would be fairly smart and very nice. Pentagons are his favorite shape, and he would actually remember what the challenges are this time. Which is... Next up, we have Bubble, who's a nice and kind-hearted character who can also be paranoid at times. So that's why I inverted Bubble into Mud. Mud is a really mean character who is mostly hated by everyone. She's very sturdy and loves goiki cake. I don't know. Coin is up next. Coiny can be nice, but he's fairly rude in the early season. But he does have a lot of charisma, which is very ironic because most people would usually just ignore a penny on the ground. So, for his opposite design, I turned him into a magnet. And unlike what magnets usually do, attract, magnet would be lonely and sad. He is friends with Watery though. Tennis ball is up next, and as a sports object, he is gonna be swapped into a school object. And I decided to go with a pencil case. Pencil case is a very dumb character who hates trivia, rhyming, and rice cake. And since for some reason, everyone calls tennis ball clumsy, even though he really is. Pencil case would actually be clumsy. Next up is flower. I decided to make flowers reversal into a mushroom because people often think mushrooms are plants when they're actually not. In the first season, flower was really mean and self-obsessed, so mushroom would be a really nice and caring character. I guess you could say she's a fun guy. Okay, I'm just gonna shut up. And unlike flower's fashion line, non-slip shoes, so ha, mushroom also has her own fashion line. Slippery gloves, so sob. I couldn't really come up with a good name. Next up, we have Ice Cube, and I'll just let Snowball explain this one. TWO METAL BALLS! So the opposite of a fragile ice cube would be a sturdy metal ball. Ice cube is seemingly nice on the outside while being mean and vengeful on the inside. So metal ball would be mean on the outside but secretly love everyone deep down inside. Next up is Blocky who is actually a wooden building block. And building blocks are kids toys so the reversal of a kids toy would be an adult toy. But this is not that kind of channel so um instead since building blocks are used for creation I turned Blocky's opposite into an object of destruction. Which is why I turned Blocky into a hammer. And despite his appearance 
He's actually a really pleasant person who really cares about others' well-being. Blocky also iconically has a TV show called Blocky's Funny Doings, where he helps and pranks other BFDI characters. So Hammer would have a book called Brace for Nature's Madness, where he teaches how to avoid harm. Side note, you know how the acronym for Blocky's Funny Doings is also BFDI? So I did the same thing with Battle for Nightmare Moon, and it took me like two hours to come up with this. So like, please just like the video for my suffering. Snowball is up next. The opposite of a snowball is a fireball, so that's what I went with. And because Snowball is very cocky, arrogant, and competitive, his opposite would be nice and fairly intelligent. Fireball loves armless contestants, and his iconic catchphrase is YES! Next up is Rocky. Rocks are usually bound to the ground, so for his opposite, I tear them into a part of the sky. Windy, which I know already looks like two existing BFDI characters, but we're just gonna ignore that because, I mean, they don't exist in this universe. Rocky acts like a child and has no situational awareness, so Windy is made into a mature and competitive player, and unlike Rocky's disgusting barf, Windy produces a pleasant smell. Now that about most of the characters are done, let's create the teams. The teams in the original BFDI are the squishy cherries and the squashy grapes. We'll use the two remaining primary colors, yellow and blue, for these two teams. The team names in BFDI are formed by two parts, the rhyming adjective and the fruit noun. So meet the tough lemons and the rough berries. Next up is Golf Ball, which, um, by the way, is my favorite character, who's also a sport character, so she will be turned into a school supply. And to keep her matching with Tennis Ball, aka Pencil Case, I turn Golf Ball into a pencil sharpener. She's insanely dumb, but very kind, and instead of being a bossy bot, people call her a submissive organism. Yeah. Needle is up next, and because needles are used for sewing, I turn Needle into a thread. Needle is a reserved and nice character who gets easily irritated, especially when someone calls her needy. So as her opposite, Thread would love nicknames like Thread, E, and be kind to whoever refers to her with a nickname, but would generally hate every contestant. She's also weak and very slow, because we all know... Now for Pen, he's also going through the school object to sport object swap, which is why I turned him into a ping pong paddle. He's a mean character that's generally disliked by most contestants. And he also has 200 Vigintillion dollars, unlike some oh. broke people I could name. Leafy is up next, and if you didn't notice, I swapped the three finalists element between each other, meaning that Leafy has to turn into a fire object. But since I really couldn't come up with anything, instead of physically turning her into fire, I turned her into a source of creating fire, aka coal. I decided to use the idea of Leafy being a manipulator to create Cole's personality. So Cole is a very manipulative competitor who befriends people just to use them to advance in the game. So yes, I did just kinda create Alejandro from Total Drama, but what are you gonna do about it? Let me have my fun. Next up is Pin, and since the main usage of pins is to, well, pin stuff on walls, I thought it would make sense to turn her into a no. Pin's personality changed pretty drastically from BFDI to BFB, so I really think the only viable option is to switch between her old and new personality for no. So not would resemble how Pin is like in BFB, reserved and shy. And for David, I decided decided to turn him into man's best friend, Fluffy. And with that, meet the Battle for Nightmare Moon cast. Watch more videos right now on screen and subscribe for a part 2.